1931, creating Timeline C, a world in which Carl Sagan wasn't rubbed out by Kid Tannen. But Arthur McFly was served for the subpoena. And shot by Kid Tannen's goons. Yes. So you jump back in time six hours, creating Timeline D, saving your grandfather's life, but somehow preventing Kit Tannen from meeting his date with justice. Which is why the Tannens were so powerful when we jumped back to 86. Uh Uh-huh. So now we've returned to August of 1931, creating Timeline E, in which, fingers crossed, we'll send Tannen to prison where he belongs. Got it? Sure. (laughs) Good. One question. What? Can you explain all this? I'm confused. (laughs) Why are Tannins always such jerks, anyway? Uh, it's hard to say. Rogue, Neanderthal genes in their DNA, perhaps. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. All right, so I got to distract him. I don't know. It's not going to do anything. There's only a few people, and maybe an animal or two, who'd be interested in Grandpa's smelly old pipe. But this isn't one of them. Nah. thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. I got a feeling the chloroform's not going to be in use anymore because you keep saying that same quote. Well, I don't want to go back here. Alright, I'm just going to use a hint. Something or someone. Edna? You can create a diversion by playing on Edna's. Hmm. Yeah, I figured. Alright. Hey, Edna. Mr. Callahan, what can I do for you? Distract Doc. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. (laughs) Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public safety. You know what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. There's no need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved Mm. to hear it. Flying cars of all the ridiculous... Fuck me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight, but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down... All right. Hey, boy, how you doing? Good dog. All right, well, I got to find Arthur still. Majestic arms. No. Transients welcome. Well, they don't get more transient than me and Okay, Doc. didn't mean to hit that. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Same thing again. Okay, so there's no point to... I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Wow, good talk. (sighs) All right, so... Gotta find Arthur. Gotta find Arthur. Uh, 
Where did Emmett go? Still over here? No. Testing, testing. Sibilance, sibilance. Hey, quit playing with my equipment. Sorry. Where are you? Oh, he's up there. Emmett! No, no, no time for chit-chat. I've got a rocket car to recover. Emmett! You get down from there before you hurt yourself! Hurt myself? <laughs> You're far too cautious, Miss Strickland. Are you sure that's safe? Of course it's not safe. That soup kitchen he's climbing is owned by gangsters! Stop being such chickens! See? Safe as houses! Don't blame me if you end up dead! Oh, that man is so infuriating! <sighs> Isn't there a ladder over here? A staircase thing. There's a ladder right there. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Well, I don't think I want to go back in there. Hoover 28. A chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? Okay. Emmett. No, no, no time for chit chat. I've got a rocket car to recover. To sniff out Arthur. Oh, I got it. I get it. Hey boy, how you doing? Good dog. Oh, it wasn't selected. Alright. Hey boy, take away for this. Gotta love that nose. Oh, he is in there. A dog running around the movie theater. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. <sighs> yeah, Einstein, you done good. Don't think it would go there. Where am I? Okay, this way. Okay, so I don't know where he took Emmett. Or not Emmett, I don't know where he took Arthur. Hmm. Welcome back, sir. Oh, okay, good. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? You're doing it again. You're trying to steal my girl, ain't you? <laughs> well, I wasn't planning on it, but if Eunice is willing. 
Why <laughs> you? Is he gonna fall again? Yeah, of course. Looks like you need to cool off for a few. Maybe you should Sorry, try talking to her. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. You want to keep his seat warm? Uh, <laughs> thanks anyway. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I found Arthur. He's staying at the Majestic Arms. That flea bag? He's too classy for that. Yeah, well, <laughs> anyway. You want to pop over there right now and talk to him about this evidence you got. I can't take more than a five-minute break. Get him to come here. I'm not sure he'd find this place inviting. Then I guess he might say we're stuck at an impasse. Hmm. Break a leg out there. Thanks. No, both need to move. All right, so how do I get her out of there? You'll have to move farther. I'll talk go back to the room with them. God, I hate this stupid control problem. No, this way. Oh my god, what is this? Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie <laughs> says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she... Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then <laughs> so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids' speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. <laughs> Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Mm -mm. His kid. Uh-oh. Don't worry. Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Cover to... Cover for me, cue ball. I'm taking a...